Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 4th through January 10th. Uh, keep in mind, not every reading is for you, and uh, the timing is still fluid. So we're just going to see what comes up for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Libra? Overall energy, please. Tower. So this is some sort of disruption. There is a, you're going to be dealing with some sort of disruption this work this week. It could be an internal disruption. It could be an external disruption. But whatever it is, it is a much needed enlightenment of some sort. So you're going to be enlightened in regards to a situation. All right. Um, this is a major shakeup. Something is about to uh, shake you up. Okay, wake you up, perhaps. Um, whatever is happening is forcing a change in your life. So get prepared for the universe to step in and make you acknowledge something. You have been refusing to acknowledge something. Now you need to acknowledge it. This is some sort of um, light being shed on something that needs to be dealt with. So be prepared to deal with that this week. Um, you know, the tower is, is a rude awakening. So you're going to get a rude awakening in regards to some aspect of your life. Um, yeah. There's something that needs to be dealt with that you have been avoiding. You've been avoiding something. It needs to be dealt with. Okay. So universe says you're going to deal with it. Okay. This could have to do with something in, re in your body or something in your home or your work. Something needs to change. And there we go. Unicorn. Use your in use your intuition. <laughs> use your intuition to make beneficial changes, and you're going to be making some changes. You may have already experienced this tower moment recently, not a year ago or six months ago. This is a recent event. It's either happening right now, or it's happened yesterday, or it's happening tomorrow. Put it that way. This is a recent event, so there is going to be a change. Okay, and it's going to be beneficial, but it may hurt. Okay, this is this is not easy. This is a painful change. Throne, position of authority. Okay, so there's something to do with the throne here, being in a position of authority. Maybe you need to take charge of something. Somebody's been ignoring something, and you need to face it. There could be uh, something about, uh, you know, what I just wanted to say was burning. You know, there's something, I don't know, there's some sort of burning going on. It's like, um, I don't know, it's like there's some sort of stormy weather that causes some sort of explosion um, of some sort. Somebody could be going overboard, you know, they could be going overboard and uh, something happens all of a sudden. This is a sudden change. Now, when I, when I say burning, a burning sensation, a burning sensation, you know, I don't know if there's a burning sensation within your, I don't know if it's your body or something that needs to be checked out. There's, there's definitely a need to uh, examine. There's a need for examination. And things are, light is going to be shed on something that isn't good. 
put it that way. Okay, some light is going to be shed on a situation. For some of you, I feel like this has to do with uh, your body, you know. Um, because the tower is a foundation, and a foundation is a, is a it could be a body, it could be a home, it could be a business. Um, you probably know what this is because of your intuition. You need to make a change. You do need to make a change. You need to take charge. What do we have for Libra? High Priestess Reverse. Now this is lack of awareness. Somebody is unaware. They are unaware of a change that is needed. But you're going to be made aware very, very suddenly. This is the High Priestess Reverse could be not listening. Not listening to your gut. Ignoring your intuition. You better start listening to your intuition, Libra. Okay? This is somebody that refuses to listen to any advice as well. We could have somebody here that is a know-it-all. They think that they know it all, but they don't really know it all. Hmm. Nine of Cups. Seven of Cups reverse. Now something is going to be shown to you. It's going to be made very, very, very clear. I don't know if there's drinking here. If so, if we may have some, and not this isn't going to be for everybody. I do feel like somebody has been going overboard, and it could be food related. It could be alcohol related. There's somebody's been going overboard. All right. There could be some self-medicating here. I feel like for some of you, it's definitely drinking too much, but not for everybody. There's definitely a need to re-examine. Um, anyhow. This is things becoming clear. You need to make better choices. There's definitely an opportunity for happiness here in abundance, but better choices are needed. Somebody may have involved themselves in a false sense of security and things are falling apart really, really, really fast. I mean, that's what the, that's what the tower is. It's a major event that changes your life. So get prepared for a major life change. It starts this week. It wasn't six months ago. It wasn't a year ago. It's something that is happening now. And there's a lack of awareness or denial. You know, somebody may have been in denial thinking, you know, everything is peachy. It's not. Anyway. Um, lack of knowledge. Ignoring. Somebody's been ignoring their body or ignoring the signs. This, you know, the ten of, well, the ten of Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is a negative repetitive pattern. Somebody is repeating, they're repeating their same mistakes, clinging, clinging to control. This is the Wheel of Fate that is trying to spin you in a new direction. But we have somebody here who's got their foot in the wheel, you know, they're stopping, they're stopping uh, movement. A destined change is needed, but we have somebody here that has been delayed, they've been uh, staying in a situation that is probably unhealthy. It looks like it's very unhealthy. This is an unhealthy attachment, an unhealthy foundation. And somebody's been ignoring the signs. Now, the Wheel of Fortune reverse is an unfortunate event. So you may be experiencing an unfortunate event that forces you to see something because this is forced to see something clearly. Okay? You're definitely going to need to take charge. You're going to need to take charge of your foundation. You need to take charge of your body for some of you. Your health. Your health. Something about your health. Now, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is past mistakes coming back to haunt you. Negative repetitive patterns that are bringing you backwards. I feel like you, you're, you're stuck. You're stuck in your old ways and you need to... Start with a clean slate. It's time for you to start over. And the universe says it's time. It's time for you to start over. Page 
page of wands reverse now this is bad news so i'm not sure, sure if you're receiving some bad news this is this is not good news. I mean, the page of wands reversed, and it definitely could be about health, somebody's health. I feel like there's some sort of delay, something some there's some sort of delay, or maybe there's a delay in the past. There's some bad news that may have just been received that takes you aback that causes uh, disturbance within you because this is the disturbance you somebody's getting some bad news but the nine of cups is wish fulfillment is happiness seeing clearly there's clarity that is coming hermit a time of introspection go within you need to go within you need to make a plan you need to set goals and you need to follow through with those goals I feel like you're going to be gaining some knowledge this week there's been some sort of no offense ignorance here with the high priestess reverse somebody's been ignoring the signs they've been ignoring their intuition about a false foundation or about some sort of disruption internal disruption they've been ignoring it and you can't ignore it anymore now you have to you may be receiving some wise advice listen to that advice this is definitely a wake-up call so there's a wake-up call that is coming this week um we could have somebody that is in a position of authority. This could be a doctor, a counselor, or somebody that is giving you some information. This information is probably um, going to help you realize something. I see clarity here. You're going to be receiving some sort of clarity. Now, the Nine of Cups is happiness. It's a wish coming true. It's realizing your dreams. This is abundance. It's a reward. And the Hermit is uh, an awakening. So this is an awakening. It's an awakening, but you're going to be fine. You're about to get some sort of rude awakening by the looks of things. But it's going to make you wiser. You're, you're gaining some sort of wisdom that you were lacking, put it that way. Um, Nine of Cups is wish fulfillment. Whatever it is, this is very happy. So there is happiness here. <laughs> What is this nine of cups? You're gaining some sort of wisdom, going within, planning, planning something. You're going to be planning something. A reevaluation here. It's like you're reevaluating. You're you're coming up with a new goal. You're going to be setting new goals this week. Now the seven of wands reversed is again a setback. It's stepping down. It's admitting defeat. It's uh. <sighs> It's giving up something, walking away from something, letting something go. You're going to be letting something go. Whatever it is that you're letting go is going to bring you happiness. So you're going to be letting go of something. You're making a choice. You're becoming clear, a clear choice. This is a clear choice, the Seven of Cups, that you have to stop doing something. You have to stop doing something. Now this is a this is a, a wish being granted. I feel like you've you've been hoping for something, you've been wishing for something, but you've been unwilling to see. You've been unwilling to see something clearly. There's been a lack of knowledge here. Or, you know, thinking, you know, I have to tell you, the high priestess reverse is not listening to your intuition. Somebody may have somebody that is watching this reading that is overly reliant on psychics, tarot readers, mediums, tarot cards, whatever. They're and they're not listening to their gut. You know, they're receiving some poor advice. You know, 
or you know and that, that poor advice is leading them in the wrong direction keeping them stuck because this is being stuck it is wheel of fortune reverse is stuck so for some of you you need to listen to your own you need to listen to your gut don't don't listen to anybody but yourself um this is stepping down from a fight uh, there could be a fight this week with this card and this card. There could be a fight. You don't see it coming. So get prepared. There could absolutely be an uproar. It could be at your home. It could be at your job. It could be within the inside. But this, this is a need to give something up. It's a time of introspection. You need to go within. You need to come up with a plan. There's probably a plan here. Somebody is making a plan. They're going to be making a plan that leads them towards happiness after they see something clearly so you're there's going to be setting a new goal making a plan judgment making a judgment call this is truth it's truth being revealed this is the end of a situation this is an absolution, so it is the end. It's the end of a situation where there's been some sort of fight. Somebody's been uh, having a hard time. They've been they've have been having a hard time giving something up. It's time to give it up. It is. It's time to give it up. It's going overboard. I don't know if it's food or an addiction or something. Somebody's been going overboard. And it could be an obsession, and it's time to give it up. So I feel like this week you're going to be accepting some, this is acceptance, it's accepting the truth and making a judgment call. There is some sort of truth that is going to come out. That reveals something. Okay, with the Seven of Cups upright, there's been some sort of illusion. There's been some sort of fantasy. Somebody has been wishing and hoping for something that isn't realistic. They've been fighting the truth. But this is the end of a trial. It's the end. This is The judgment is the end of things. So, and this is realizing something. So I do feel like you're going to be realizing something. And I feel like you, you, may, be, you may be getting some help from somebody. Okay, and it feels like, I don't know if it's a doctor or a counselor or something like that. Um, now this is the end. It's the end of a battle. It's the end of a fight. This is admitting defeat. Accepting the consequences, perhaps. I wonder if there's some sort of, because judgment, if you think about court, there's consequences at the end of that. You know, there could be some consequences for somebody's poor choices. Somebody's made some, the seven of cups reverse is poor choices. But this is seeing clearly about the choices that you have made. This is definitely an awakening. This is a spiritual awakening. So somebody is definitely getting a wake-up call this week. I think it has to do with their health. You may be quitting something. You could be quitting whatever it is that you're doing. Because this, like, this is like quitting. I don't know if it's for some of you. It may be drinking if you're a big drinker, but I don't think that's for everybody. It could be quitting something that you have been holding on to. You may have realized something through a time of introspection that something isn't going anywhere. You know, the ten of the wheel of fortune reverse. That's stuck. But that's in the past. I think that in the past you have been clinging to something, you know, and repeating that same mistake over and over and over again. I feel like. Uh, there's been no desire to go in a new direction, right? And you haven't been listening. Somebody hasn't been listening or they've been listening to the wrong people. Now you're going to be facing some major upheaval in your life that forces you to see something. The light is going to be shed. The truth is coming out. Okay, the light is going to be shed and a change is about to happen. Okay, a major life change is about to happen. That's what the tower is. 
You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Virgo sun, moon, or rising. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, we also have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. I do think that some sort of clarity is coming. Somebody's prayers are also being answered, okay, with that Nine of Cups. But they're not answered in the way that you think, okay? They're not answered in the way that you think. So I just have to, I have to tell you that. Um, this is the end of some sort of struggle, something you've been struggling with. This is the end and this is a struggle. This is giving up, stepping down, realizing the truth. This is realizing the truth. It really is. Seeing it very clearly. So I think that you're going to be realizing the truth um, about, about something about yourself. Now we have awakening here, a major awakening. So somebody is going through a major awakening. This is a huge wake up call. So you're going to be getting a wake-up call. And for a lot of you, it has to do with your health. There's also a secret that is going to be revealed this week. Okay, that's part of it. This, there's something that is going to be revealed this week that is going to cause chaos in your life. That's what forces this change. There could be a fight. When the secret gets revealed, the secret gets revealed and, you know, there's, there could be some sort of fight or there could be some sort of acknowledgement of the truth. You know, whatever, whatever gets revealed shakes up your world. Okay, your world is about to be shaken up by something that comes out. Okay, get prepared for a wake up call. There is something that you need to deal with. Okay, that you have been going overboard on. You need to set a goal. You need to set a goal. You need to come up with a plan. And it's a plan of release. Okay, you need to release something. Six of Pentacles. Now the Six of Pentacles is about give and take. This is You're going to be receiving an opportunity or somebody is receiving an opportunity. They're going to be receiving something. Receiving an offer. Somebody's going to be receiving an offer that changes their life. That that they've been asking for. Somebody's going to be receiving something that they need. This is like getting help. Somebody is going to be getting some help that releases them from something that has been a constant battle. Okay? So Libra, I feel like this week you are going to be receiving something. You're going to be receiving something that, or somebody that you're dealing with is going to be receiving something that changes their life, okay? There could be even, you know, there's some sort of offering that is coming in. I feel for some of you, you're releasing something, I think I've already said it, that you've been hanging on to. It's been a false sense of security. Get prepared to deal with it. You can't ignore it. This is ignoring something that isn't stable, that isn't secure, that is unhealthy. That's what it is. Somebody's been ignoring something. So, so you know, you can't ignore it anymore. You can't avoid it anymore. You're going to be dealing with it this week. This is a major life change. Life is about to change. Somebody is about to make a judgment call. Okay, they're about to end something. This is a life-changing decision that is going to uh, make you actually very, very happy and abundant. 
It is. But you have to acknowledge the false foundation first. You can't ignore it. So I feel like this is the week where you have to face some sort of truth. You're forced to face the truth. This is real. Okay? It's, it's time to deal with this. It's time to go. It's time to build a strong foundation. It's time to get healthy. So anyway, with this, uh, sorry about that, with this Six of Pentacles, there's somebody who's going to be receiving something that uh, they've been waiting for. There could be a gift that is coming in. We may have somebody that is being very generous, that is giving somebody something that they, you know, deserve. This is equality. Being treated with respect. There could be a loan that is coming through, an inheritance. There's going to be some sort of uh, payout, you know. There could be a winning here. Somebody's going to be getting something that, you know, allows them to give up. Okay, there, it allows them to break free from something. So this is a life-changing event, put it that way. So get prepared. It may have something to do with court. It may have something to do with a loan. It may have something to do with a home. It may have something to do with a doctor. Um, whatever is happening, get prepared for a wake-up call that changes your life, that changes the way you've been living. That's what I see. Good luck. And it starts with some sort of, I think in the past there was some bad news. There's been some clinging to control. There's been some stagnation. You know, somebody's been refusing to see. They've been ignoring, you know, something that they were supposed to deal with. But now it's like the universe says, okay, here it is. You are going to deal with it now because this is the reality. Okay, the judgment in the tower, this is a reality check of some sort. This is the end of things. It's the end. This is the end of a battle. Light is definitely being shed on something that is unhealthy. And there's movement and help arriving. There's support here. So anyway, good luck, Libra. It's time for you to take a position of authority and start with a clean slate. Good luck.